Heading back to last summer, today we're revisiting the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. Why, you may be asking? Because your favorite monster girl is here to make it all better and enjoyable. Plus, I've been dying to revisit it. And with the hypes running the new Texas Chainsaw, there's no better time. You're Nappy. And I'm Van. And you're watching Classic VHS Horror. Now, let's get to the kills in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre kill count. Sally, I hear something. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Why would someone just barge into someone's house like Kirk? That's very rude. But not as rude as what Leatherface is about to do to him. Upon entering the house belonging to the Sawyer clan, poor Kirk here comes face to face with the man who wears faces. And Bubba Boy bashes his skull open. Why is there so much faces? <laughs> and Pam, following in Kirk's footsteps, does the same and snoops around someone's house. Why does no one has respect for boundaries? Not long after entering the house, she stumbles into, or rather upon, a bone-chilling scene. Similar to Ed Gein, who this movie was inspired by, the inhabitants of this house decorated it in a more taboo fashion. Both animal and human remains litter the home, and after trying to make her escape, Leatherface snatches her. <laughs> This ghost too, or, or uh, Jerry I guess his name is, like the people before him made the mistake of entering the home of the skin wearing madman Leatherface. After hearing something moving around, Jerry investigates and finds Pamela's remains. And this commotion causes the skin wearing cannibal to burst into the room and smash Jerry's face in with a mallet. <laughs> Going off to search for others, Sally, along with her wheelchair-bound brother, Franklin, heads into the woods. Why would you take someone who's who is in a wheelchair to the fucking woods? Really <laughs> you went out the throat of a chainsaw wielding killer, you'd think that's a pretty stupid idea. Not long after starting their search, Franklin hears something, and lo and behold, if it isn't our favorite face-wearing boy. <laughs> a hellish night of horrors in the hands of the Sawyer family, Sally manages to make her escape from the house, but with Bubba and Nubbins in hot pursuit. After running onto the road, this seriously cool with murder truck driver says screw it and mows over Hitchhiker. And now for the Kill Count Awards. The worst though to doubt has to be... Uh, dang. Actually, all of them were pretty good, but the dullest kill was probably Jerry, who was just bedonked on the head. This has to go to the hitchhiker who got plowed over by a truck. It was satisfying to watch and it looked great. <laughs> And the most iconic is easily Kirk's. I don't think anybody's forgetting the first time they see Leatherface barge out of the back room and lay the mallet to him. Now for our mini Texas Chainsaw Massacre review. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of those classic horror flicks that any fan of the genre needs to watch. And for the movie based on a true story, albeit very loosely, it was a lot of fun. Giving a recommendation rating, we gotta give this movie a 5 out of 5. I say 3, but let's go. Everything is about average. <laughs> In the end, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974 has a total of 5 kills. 6 if you want to count the armadillo, even though we excluded from the video, and for even more in-depth count going as far as counting corpses and even limbs, be sure to check out the original Texas Chainsaw Kill Count series we've done. Be sure to let us know your favorite kill in the comments below, and while you're down there, why not tell us your favorite mask? Was it original? The granny face, the pretty lady. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you back here again with more dead people.